Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is an ear sign reading for Libra, Aquarius and Geminis. Also cross watchers as well. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you guys are good and doing well. So I've done a pre-shuffle already so we can jump straight into this reading. So I'll give you the messages from the angels for the guidance for this reading. We've got wait and we've got reconsider. We have communicate clearly and the situation will improve. So that's wait. The messages are wait, reconsider, communicate clearly and the situation will improve. So let's get the tarot, tap into the energies surrounding the situation during this time. Let's do a free card spread. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. So we've got the seven of cups, three of wands and the hangman. Could be dealing with the Pisces. So let's clarify with the Ace of Swords. We've got the Page of Wands. In reverse, we've got the Hermit as well. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So let's further clarify with the Queen of Swords. We've got Justice, Libra energy, and Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay, so it looks like someone's moving forward here. Three of Wands. It looks like um, someone's cutting out a situation. Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. I feel like uh, this reading is picking up someone that knows the truth about a person or a situation here. And uh, whatever it is, is, is setting this setting them free. Someone is uh, receiving what they need to move on, I feel. And that's exactly what they're doing. Moving on. Free of wands. Looking towards the future. Yeah, it looks like uh, you're ready to cut the situation out. I feel like uh, you're dealing with someone that is uh, a player. Someone that's got options. Maybe someone that's trying to t treat you as an option. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this uh, situation doesn't serve you, so you're cutting it out. You're moving forward here. It looks like um, you're trying to move forward, but it's like something is pulling you back. <laughs> Something's pulling you back. There's something pulling you back here. You're trying to move forward. We got weight. So I feel like uh, this person, they want you to wait. Yeah, I feel like um, patience. I'm hearing patience. This situation requires patience. You may not have patience for this person. But I feel like uh, it, it, this this is someone that um, you will have to be patient with, you know, I feel. I feel like this is someone that wants you to be patient with them. 
Yeah. Because as much as you feel like the situation doesn't serve you. And you're looking to move forward here. Yeah, what you don't, I feel like what you don't see, because you got your back turn here, like this man in the card, in this card here, you got your back turn. But what you don't see happening behind the scenes is justice. We've got justice here happening in this situation. So whatever you gave to this situation, to this person, you will get justice. You know, you will get back what you put in. This is what I'm getting. So if you gave this person, you know, your love, time, attention, whatever it is you gave. Yeah, it looks like the universe is behind you here and they're, they're working to uh, make sure you get what you deserve out of this situation. They're handling they're handling this uh, this situation for you right now. So, you know, th there will be a little patience required, I feel, in this situation. So, as much as you're looking to move forward and move on in your life here, looking to expand and move forward here, I feel like uh, this situation is not over. Because justice will be served here. Justice will be served because I feel like this is someone that um have a lot has has got a lot of feelings for you i feel i feel like there's a spiritual connection here you have with this person here we've got the hangman we've got the hermit so this indicates uh someone that is on the spiritual path someone that is uh very spiritual and connected to their spirituality So I feel like uh, this is a strong connection you have with this person. So as much as uh, things ain't working out between you and them during this time, you guys do have a connection and they feel it as just as much as you do. And because you've turned your back now on them, it is... Uh, Making this person go through some through some sort of awakening, like spiritual awakening, like they're going within. It makes this person go within here. Yeah, it makes them go within. Because I really feel like, um, you know, this person, they do like to have a lot of options. You're dealing with someone that is... Uh, like emotionally unavailable during this time because it looks like uh, they got a lot on their plate. <laughs> they juggle a lot. This is someone that likes to juggle a lot of options, you know. We've got seven of cups, we've got two of pentacles in reverse. So this is someone clearly juggling. They're clearly juggling here. But it doesn't look like they're doing a good job about it though. Two of pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is someone that, you know, is juggling a bit too much here. They may have a bit of more than they can chew. Things might be a bit out of control for this person right now in their life, I feel. I really feel like this person is struggling to maintain some sort of balance in their life. <laughs> I feel like this is someone that's greedy. That's why. they got wandering eyes. This is someone that's greedy. And they got wandering eyes here. They like to have a lot of options. I mean, page of wands in reverse. This is someone that um, they don't know what they want at the best of times, you know. <laughs> they don't know what they want at the best of the times. I feel like you're dealing with someone that's really like just emotionally unavailable during this time. Someone that just uh, wants to have fun. They're not taking, they're not looking to take anyone seriously during this time here.
Yeah. Yeah, they're juggling. So, um, it looks to me... That they're out here. Probably playing the field. But the thing is, I feel like... The universe, you know, like I said, they're behind you in this situation. They got your back here because justice is being served. Because wherever this, whatever this person got going on outside of you, it's not serving them. You know, and I feel like it's, it's, uh, you know, they're in this hangman energy right now where they're being forced to like really. Like reconsider their life right now, their their choices. This is why we got to reconsider. I feel like this person they have to like reevaluate their choices right about now. You know, look at things in, in a different perspective here. Yeah, this is why we got to reconsider. Yeah, the message says. There is an element of your plan that should be reevaluated. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. Share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback and ask your angels for guidance. So this is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering. A better time will come or you'll realise that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. So, yeah, it's time to reconsider. I feel like the universe is uh, has a way of making, you know, someone reconsider their plans here because this is someone that feels like they need to reconsider their choices that they're making during this time because it looks like they're making a mess of things here. I'm hearing out of control. They're making a mess of things. I mean, this is someone that's got so much options. You know, they don't know which, what, what they, but they don't choose. They just, they just uh, want all, I feel. You know, this is someone that wants all, but not all of these, I mean, not all of these cups, these choices are, you know, ideal. Not all of these choices and options will serve this person, you know, and they know it deep down. I mean, out of all these choice, out of all these cups they got, I mean, one of them's got a dragon coming out of it, some kind of demon-looking thing, creature coming out of it. One of these options is a demon. Then you got this option here with this, I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it looks dry. You know, you got this option here. It's got jewelry and treasures and stuff. So that just shows me that option is like someone as superficial, shallow, superficial. There's a next option here that looks like this. It's like a a build, a castle or a house or something on top of a rock. But whatever it is, it looks like a mission to get to. So maybe this option lives far. And it's a mission to get to that option at the best of times. It's just a mission. This person lives in the middle of nowhere on top of a rock. <laughs> then you got this cup here with a snake in it. So, you know, this option is a snake. Some sneaky little, you know, person here. Then you got this cup here, this option here with a, what's this, stingray or whatever it is. It looks dangerous anyway. And then you got this cup here. This is the only cup here. You know, with a, the face of, like, a beautiful lady. And I feel like out of all these options here this person has, I feel like this is you, the beautiful lady. The rest of these options are just illusions, distractions, really. But this, this, this lady up here, this cup up here, you know, you can see, like, the way it's painted to show that this... This lady is transparent, you know. There's no illusions here. What you see is what you get. You know, it's genuine. And I feel like 
this is the face. This is the only cup with a face on it. With a beautiful face on it. And I feel like this is this is who this person looks for in all these options. They're looking for this beautiful lady here in all these options. This is who they're looking for. They already found, this is someone that already found the person that they are seeking here, which is you. The one that they had the connection with. They already found it, but I feel like the truth of the matter is this is someone that's not ready for a relationship during this time. And I think I feel like it's simple as that. Maybe they're not ready. Maybe they just come out of a relationship. Maybe this person just wants to focus on their work, career. They don't really want a relationship, you know, but they do want fun. They don't really want a relationship, I feel. Maybe that's what it is. It's as simple as that. But the problem in this situation is communication. I feel like this is someone that don't communicate clearly with you about what they want. And that's the issue. This is why we've got communicate clearly. This is the issue. I feel like, because we've got the Queen of Swords here. So you you probably, you're, you're probably okay with the fact that this person doesn't want a relationship. Probably because the Queen of Swords is the energy of someone that likes their own space anyway. And independence. You're probably okay with that. I feel like the issue with this person is that they don't communicate honestly. They're not honest. That's the issue with this person. I feel like it's not the issue that they don't want a relationship with you. It's just the fact that they're just not honest with you. They don't communicate. You know? And you're with the Queen of Swords here, Ace of Swords. You're someone that's all about the facts and the truth of the matter. So I feel like, you know, if you guys could communicate clearly, which I really feel like this person would really wants to do. I feel like they do want to talk to you here and bring justice to this situation. I feel like this person really wants to talk to you because that's why we've got to wait. I feel like this person, they, they, want, to, they, want, to, they want to be honest with you here. This message says... That this situation requires requires very precise and careful communication. Uh, so don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need or need from them. In person, discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication. That is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. Yeah, that's all it takes. I feel like it's as simple as a, a, a clear and honest communication conversation, really. To clear up the misunderstandings, to heal the situation. That's all it, I feel like that's all this situation needs during this time. Honest communication. Really, I feel like that's the issue. Because this is clearly, I feel like you guys are not ready for a relationship like that. But I feel like communication will heal the situation. At least, you know. And just strengthen the bond between you. Strengthen the, 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 the relationship. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like this is someone that they probably don't know how to communicate properly. I feel like that's what it is. Maybe they don't know how to express themselves. They may find it difficult to discuss certain things here. Eh? They may have certain fears, but I really feel like clear communication is all it takes. You know, take the time to listen to each other and to hear each other out, really. Yeah, I feel like you guys will find that you have a lot in common when it comes to relationship goals. You're both looking for the same thing. But you just need to talk. So, yeah, I feel like the situation will improve here. If you guys just take the time to, like, really go within and look at things differently. Look at the situation in a different perspective. Change, change of attitude is needed, I feel. So, yeah, I'll leave it here for now. I hope this reading helps. Thanks for watching. See you soon.